So I have this uh, problem that I'm going to try to make a scatter plot of this data and try to draw a line of best fit and then use that to help me find some, uh, some information later on for a, a new set of data. So uh, to start off with, I have the water depth, which I'm going to make my uh, horizontal scale here. And I have the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. And the water depth is in feet. And my water depth goes from 0 up to 50. So I'll start off with 0 here. And maybe we'll go by 5s, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And there may be some more, but get in there. And then my temperature looks like my lowest temperature is about 53. So maybe I'll start down a little bit below that, maybe 45, and go up by fives here, because it only goes up to 75, 74, so I don't have to go up that high. So going by fives here will be good as well. 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and that's probably good. OK. So now I'm going to plot my data in here. I have a water depth of 0 and a temperature of 74. So here's my water depth of 0 and a temperature of just below the 75 right here. And then I have 10 and 72 right about here, 20 and 71, 25 and 64. Thirty and sixty-one, thirty-five and fifty-eight, forty and fifty-three, fifty and fifty-three as well. So we're trying to find a linear relationship here, and you can see, as in most real data, it's not going to form a completely straight line, uh, but we do have. Um, you can see that there is a relationship. In fact, it, because the slope is going down as we, as we cross here, there's a negative relationship. So that answers my first question here. The relationship is negative because there is a negative slope. In other words, as the temperature goes up, the water depth goes down, or vice versa. As the water depth goes, uh, gets bigger, gets deeper, the temperature goes down. All right, so now I'm going to draw a line of best fit. And drawing a line of best fit is a little bit of a challenge. I'm, I don't need to actually my, my line to go through any of these points in particular. I kind of want to have it centered in there. And I want to have some points below, some points above. So I'm going to try to draw a line that I think is of best fit and draw a line through there. Now, in this particular case, uh, I've gone through a couple of these points. I've got a few points above, a few points below. This may, I may have even drawn this point uh, a little bit low, uh, and maybe even turned a little bit. But we're trying to draw a line as best fit as we can that should somehow go through the middle of these points. Now, uh, a couple of points by, uh, that I'm going to use here. I basically need two points to be able to find the equation of this line. And as long as I use one of them, as my y-intercept, which is right here. It looks to me like my y-intercept is 79 there, just a little bit below the 80 there. So I'm going to call that point, uh, that's my x value of 0, my y value of 79. Now I need one other point to help me find a slope. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to mark that this is my y-intercept because I'm going to use that for my equation later on. And I'm going to put one other point, and I'm going to use this point right here. Even though it's not, it's not one of my points, none of these on the line, I'm using my data points up here uh, at the top. But I am uh, using a, a new point that's on my new line. It, doesn't, it shouldn't necessarily be one of these data points. In fact, if one of these data points is not on my line, I cannot use these at all. So this point that I found here has an x value of 45 and a y value of 50. Now I can find the slope of these two points by doing uh, subtracting the y's. So I do a 79 minus 50 and 0 minus 45. Change in y over change in x, rise over run. And I will get 29 over negative 45. I'm going to rewrite that as negative 29 
40 fifths. If I can reduce it, I can. If not, I can't. In this case, I can't. All right, I'm actually ready to write my equation. I know my slope and my y-intercept is 79. So I am ready to write my equation. All I need to put it in slope-intercept form is the slope and y-intercept. So my equation is y equals to the slope, which is negative 29 over 45 times x. The slope is always times the x, plus the y-intercept, which in this case oops, is 79. All right, so there's my equation here. y equals negative 29 45 x plus 79. That's the equation of this line that I just drew. So how can I use that? And in, in this case, the x is the water depth and the y is the temperature. So how can I use that to produce or to predict a temperature of 55? I'm uh, oh, sorry, a temperature at a depth of 55 feet. Well, the depth is my x. So I can take that equation, y equals to negative 29 40 fifths x. Or instead of x, I'm going to put in 55 and then add 79 to that. And I will get my, my value for y, which is the uh, temperature. So when I multiply negative 29, divide by 45, multiply that by 55, and then add 79, I get 43.5 repeating. So uh, as an estimate, predicting uh, the temperature at the depth of 40, 55 feet, it's going to be around, if I do it to the nearest degree, and I round up, about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what I would predict to be the temperature at a depth of 55 feet. Okay. So now, just a quick review of what I've done. I've drawn a line of best fit and used that to predict temperatures uh, for depths that I didn't know from my data.